stripped of her memories, Nilan embarks on a journey to reclaim what she has lost. Behold the privileged few, safe with their little comforts, while others live in suffering, a few meters from their barricade. No one chooses which side of the firewall to grow up on. In 2084, a new technology has been developed. Using a Sensen, developed by Memorize, society now shares memories in all means. You play as Nilan, a memory hunter. After losing her memories, she joins the Errors and hunts down those who know her past. Except for Nilan, the characters don't really stand out. They're not very interesting, except for their appearance. Only Nilan and a select few have any real depth. The only thing that really stands out for these side characters is their hairstyles and the clothes they wear. Set in Neo Paris, the setting feels like the future, but not too distant. In this case, it's a good thing. Throughout the game, you'll be seeing the streets of Paris, the sublevels and slums, and even the memories that take on a very unique form. The story, characters, and setting of Remember Me gets a 7 out of 10. They're not amazing, and they're not bad, but they're just above mediocre. The Combo Lab is a great addition. There are four trees to the moves, power, health, cooldown, and chain, and each move has its own animation. There are also special moves, like Fury, that let you chain together all of your attacks. The Sen Sen DOS that stuns all the enemies around you. and the Logic Bomb, which you will plant onto an enemy that then hurts him and those around him, which includes you. And then there's the ranged weapon called the Spammer. But the feature that makes Remember Me so different is the Memory Remix sequences. By tapping into a person's memories, you can alter the slightest things, like changing a gun's safety. Just by doing that, you can drastically change a person's memory. The graphics in Remember Me aren't grade A, but they aren't the worst either. They're about mediocre, and there are a few CGI scenes, but there's only a few of these. The graphics get the job done by making characters look unique, and not making the facial expressions look stiff. The voice acting isn't movie quality. It's another case of getting the job done, but it's not terrible either. There's no goofy lines either. So in some ways that's good, and in some cases that could be bad. But what stands out is the soundtrack. The soundtrack in Remember Me makes all the difference. The gameplay, graphics, and sound in Remember Me gets a 7 out of 10. They're not going to be the best, and they're not the worst, but they are pretty good. What you can look forward to in Remember Me is an interesting story, a combo lab, and the awesome memory remix scenes. But what to not look forward to are the very few segments of the memory remix. The game could have been longer because there are questions that haven't been answered, and many of the characters are very forgettable. The final score for Remember Me is a 7.5 out of 10. This is a great game. It is worth trying. At the very least, it's a definite rent. This is Okijin, and this is Remember Me.